Hi folks, uh, in my previous tutorial, we implemented a simple rule 6 hello world program. So in this tutorial, we are going to modify that program to make use of rules decision tables. For this, I am going to take reference of my website javainews.com. So this is the example that we did previously. This is a simple hello world application using rule 6. The source code for this can be downloaded from here. This is a Maven project, so just import it in Eclipse and if you will run this, we had got the discount for the jewelry product. If uh, the rules were written in uh, .drl file, here we had mentioned the rules like uh, if it is diamond jewelry then give a discount of 15% and if it is uh, gold jewelry give a discount of 25% so if you have not gone through that tutorial please go through it uh, we'll continue that will be our starting point for this tutorial so what are rules decision tables rules decision tables are excel based decision tables in which the conditions that we previously specified in the .drl file those we'll specify in an excel based uh, table we'll take a look at that so what will be the use of this decision table and why not just continue making use of uh, the DRL file that we have. The first important reason is that for understanding this DRL file, the user still has to have at least some programmatic knowledge. Like if he has to set the discount, he will still have to understand these conditions which we have written uh, in the .DRL file. So a, a person who has no coding language, he will not be able to make changes so easily in this DRL file. And these are simple rules. When the conditions they become more complex, it will become more difficult for a non-programmer to uh, make changes and understand uh, the rules in the .DRL file. So we can say that uh, it is not that uh, business user friendly, the .DRL file. Another uh, reason why we should use the rules decision table is suppose if the rules they are to be changed quite frequently depending on the change in the business scenarios then for each change we'll have to modify the dot drl file that is make changes in the uh, in the code itself right so which is not a good practice so if we make use of rules table only in the excel sheet we'll have to make the changes and no changes will be required in the dot drl file or the code that is uh, there so let's have a look at the rules decision table. I have created the rules decision table for the rules that we have written in dot uh, this uh, rules dot drl file. So you can make use of that. Just go to this tutorial understanding rules decision table and download the example before itself. So this will be the decision table that we'll make use of. So this is the rules decision table that I have created for uh, the rules that we had written previously in the .drl file. This has been written in simple excel sheet. So let's go through this and understand what we have done here. So the first is the rule set attribute. This tells us uh, that the excel is a rule set and what should be the name of this rule set. We have named it as rules. The next attribute is the import attribute. Uh, we have to tell what all Java classes we are going to require in the uh, decision table. So the first two lines are similar. This is this was the attribute uh, rule set that we had given. The next is the import, the Java class that we are going to use. In this case, the product class. Next is the notes. This just gives the description as what this uh, rules table is doing. This will be the name of the rules table, uh, rule table discount calculation. Next come the columns name, condition and action. As the names indicate they are used for mentioning which conditions, uh, under which conditions what action is to be taken. So under the conditions we have specified uh, the condition that depending upon the type of product set the discount. So this is the condition that we have specified that if the product type okay so uh, what will happen is the product it, the value that is there in the product it will go into this product object so this will be the reference of the product that we are going to pass to this decision table from here the product object it will have a parameter of type 
type so if this is equal to equal to dollar param the dollar param will be the values that are that we have defined in uh, in this under this column it can either be diamond or gold so if this is either equal to diamond or this is either equal to gold then the action will be that in this reference object product object set the discount as this value which whichever is the corresponding value so if it is diamond set it as 15 if it is gold set it as 25 so these are the only changes that are required it is a very simple uh, rules decision table and uh, not many changes will be required to our code so copy this rules file so under rules we had the rules.drl delete it and paste the decision table here this is the only change required no change will be required in our code the rules will automatically pick up the XLS file and it will understand that this is a decision table. Only one other change will be required that in the POM file, we'll have to add an additional dependency for the decision table. So this will be the dependency that we'll have to add rules hyphen decision tables. So just go to the POM file and add this here. Let's install this again. Now if we run this project again, we are still getting the discount for the jewelry product. So our rules decision table is working properly. Uh, hope you have understood this tutorial. The source code can be downloaded from here. Thanks.